Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly return with an update on the auto Snapchat adder. Um, so this is still the website that we use to gather all the data. So as I said with the other video, only get two other friends that have consented uh, to use their names. So just ask a couple of people in your Snapchat. Um, put these names in, hit join fame, and you'll now have these names in the register. Now, as to using the auto adder, I have changed it so you can simply use an executable file. Um, so just like launching a game or something, uh, instead of having to install Python and stuff. So this looks quite daunting, um, but it's, I've made it a lot simpler than before. So you want to just come onto this website, um, and this will be in the description of the video. This is where I store my code so everyone can get the most up-to-date stuff. Um, you want to hit autoadder.exe, and that will be in the description to get straight to it, and then just smash download, <coughs> and that will download this file. Now, if you don't want to run this executable file, that is completely fine, I understand. Um, this is just meant to be a simpler way for pe some people. The code that's being run is just in the autoadder.py file, so you can read that no data is being sent, it's only retrieving data from the SnapFame website here. Um, so this is now the file which you can run, so I'm just going to click it and I should I might get a warning, I'm just going to run it anyway. Um, and once this is loaded, it will take me right into being able to run it over the top of my uh, Android device. So I'm going to go hook up my Android device and then I'll start running the auto adder just to show you guys how it's working now. So like before, um, we've got TeamViewer, and we've just got to wait for my phone. Now, this is the ID, so you guys should be um, should be able to, you know, figure out TeamViewer. Now, I'm just going to connect, um, and I'll show you the app. Um, basically, I'm using my Android phone. It might work on other phones, I'm not sure. But um, I'm just hitting allow. Now, um, this is my phone, my old phone that I don't really use anymore. This is the uh, quick connect. If I click on this, it shows me that it's active. Um, this app basically lets me connect to my phone and use it remotely. So if you can find another app that might be able to do that for you, that's 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 the good plan. Um, so you want to hit add friends. You want to go into this area. Now, before you hit enter here, you want to kind of position it in the right way. So spend a couple moments. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the right look. Um, it's kind of this size. I made it not full screen so that people with smaller screens would be able to use this tool. But you'll basically just um, you basically just hold your mouse over this little icon here, smash enter, and it should start moving. And hopefully, I'm in the right area. Now, after every three names are put in, okay. So this is a name we've already got. So it should run this bit. And what will happen is we'll go back up. Yep, I'm in the right area. So after every three names, you'll have a chance to um, go back and check whether or not you're in the right area. So if you just wait, 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 you'll get five seconds after the first three names. So this is a name I don't have. Oh, I missed it, but I'll I'll edit some code just right now so that it, it does get it next time. Um, that's awkward, but yeah. It, the, the benefit of this tool is that I can go in and edit it. So I'll, I'll make that edit now so that you guys will have that ability to go down. But it's mainly just, <clears throat> this is the functionality I was trying to build. Um, that's a really easy change. In fact, if I can change that right now, um, I'm just going down, I'll move down by 22 instead of 30 pixels. So that's an easy change, which um, you guys will now have. So yeah, that's just a quick update. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it makes it a bit simpler than running Python and everything, um, but if not, go back to the other video if it's not working for you or you're on a different type of computer, uh, and you should be able to figure it out. Like, Mac computers and Linux computers automatically have Python, so you've, you've made it a little bit easier for yourselves. Um, as I said before, if you guys have any questions, just shoot them in the comments. Um, like and subscribe, because I'll be adding a bunch of this type of content uh, in the future, and uh, I hope you guys have the best one. Bye.